Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So I'm really excited because I have a brand new project that I'm about to start working on. And basically it's gonna allow people to create guitar challenges or guitar licks as they're called and other guitarists will be able to upload videos. Um, so whenever I start on a new project like this, I'm really finding myself using a new service called Millanote and this is today's video sponsor. So. If you've ever felt constrained by traditional software, well, Millinote is different. It's like working on a wall in a creative studio, if that makes sense. So you can use it for mapping out projects so that all of your information is in one place. You can use it for gathering and organizing inspiration or creating mood boards. And all of your work can be shared with colleagues and clients to collaborate on in real time. So this is the software that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna show you how I'm going to use it to really organize this whole project, all right, in an online setting. All right, so if you're interested in trying out, it's free to try out. Check out the link in the description and let's get started. All right, so once you create your account here at Millanote, um, this is the main dashboard. As you can see, if you have nothing here, it's gonna be completely empty. Uh, but just to describe the user interface and what's happening here is on the left, you have various elements that you can freely just drag over uh, based on your needs. If you want a to-do list, you can drag it over, or whatever. Now, at the beginning of the, men the video, I mentioned that I have a project and it, right now it's really just an idea, but it's something I'm serious about. And this is gonna be the perfect use case for it. So I'm gonna start by dragging on this board element right here. So a board, think of a board kind of like um, a an actual project. Uh, so I'm gonna name it uh, Guitar Challenge. All right, so this is uh, this Guitar Challenge uh, site that I wanna build that allow people to create uh, guitar licks, like tabs, and then people can upload videos of themselves trying to play it. All right, so um, with this, we can now double click into it and you can see we now have Guitar Challenge and it's basically just a blank board from which we can still drag all these other elements into it based on our needs. So um, I'm going to create another board inside of it because I want to have, you know, one of the things that's going to be a part of this project that I need to structure and organize is UI inspiration. So this is a common thing I do as a, as a UI designer is, you know, when I, when I'm, I'm, I haven't yet designed a project, I just go out, I'll go on dribble.com and a few other sites and I'll see um, and just try to save projects that and UI designs that I really like and that I could possibly draw inspiration from maybe in terms of type or the colors, etc. So I'm going to draw or drag another board here and we'll call this UI inspiration. All right. And you know what's really cool? It automatically detects and puts in an icon based on what you put in there. Very cool stuff. So now here in UI inspiration, uh, I'm going to go to first before we uh, start adding some user interfaces for inspiration uh, is to get the Millanote Web Clipper for Chrome, all right? So this is a Chrome extension that makes it very easy when you're on a given page or you wanna save like a, a, an image or something to just add it automatically to your project over here. And you'll see how this works. So make sure you uh, download this for Chrome and it's right here for me. You'll have to log in to connect it to your account. Um, and once you do that, you're ready to rock. So here's how this works. Um, I'm gonna type in, I know for my, this user interface of this project I wanna do, uh, I want it like a dark UI, you know, just kind of going with the theme of metal guitar and stuff. And so you, I was just gonna put dark UI or something like that. All right, so the very first one, I kind of like the colors here, um, the way they work here. So what I could do, you hover over it, I click save, and then we can save it to, where is it? UI inspiration, hit click save. There you go. Now watch this when I switch over to this tab. It shows up automatically right here. And now I can just drag this over anywhere I want. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so I'll do this a couple more times uh, to fill this out just a bit more. Okay, I think that's good for now. So I have two more. You take both of these by holding control and selecting them and then just dragging them right in. All right, so now I can save this for later use um, when I'm ready to actually start designing. So this really is just about brainstorming uh, at this point. So uh, Guitar Challenge. So the next thing we'll do is um, we're gonna create a columns, all right? So if I drag in column right here, all right, we're going to put in domain name search engines. All right, so I haven't even thought of a name for this project yet. Um, and so 
I'm not yet ready to actually do the search for that, but I am willing to actually find some of the domain names that uh, the name, domain name search engines that exist out there. All right, so I'll go to, let's see here, um, instantdomainnamesearch.com. Uh, this is a popular domain search engine. Um, also domainwheel.com, looks like it's taken a little bit of time to load. Um, there's a couple more that I want to add. Um, so looks like I have uh, some internet connections. Just great, just great, right in the middle of a video. Don't you just love technology? All right, this one loads. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a big server down or something. But once you get to the site that you wanna add, all you have to do is right click and just save to Milanote. And we'll save this, not to UI Inspiration, but to actually just the guitar challenge uh, board right there. So we'll save that. All right, then we right click on Milanote here. We'll save that. Uh, we'll do it for this one. As you can see, very quick and easy. It looks like instant domain search doesn't want to load up, but that's okay. We get the point. So now we can see that those three links that we've uh, add, we've added here all show up. And so I can just select all three of them and drag them right in there. All right, great. Uh, next, we're gonna create a to-do list uh, because obviously you have a, a, a large project you wanna work on. There's, there's certain things you need to get done, uh, perhaps in sequential order or not. So I'm gonna move this right here and I'm going to add a to-do list. All right, it's very simple. You just add a task and hit enter. Um, you can put nested tax, tasks as well. So I'm gonna add some here. So first, I think we'll do find and register a domain name. It's probably like one of the first things I wanna do. Research the target demographic. I'm gonna enter, um, design the logo. Also, we'll create the UI design and prototype in Adobe XD. And inside of that, we can hit tab now. And part of that, design process will be to determine a color scheme. Uh, we'll design the landing page, design the login slash join page, and design the challenge UI. We can also shift tab to get out of there and build app. And finally create marketing plan with established guitarists. Awesome stuff. All right, so once you get one of these done, you just check it off and there you go. Uh, very easy, you can obviously move these up and down as you wish. Works exactly as you would expect it to. Next, we're going to go ahead and create um, a comment here because as you can see up here, you can invite your team. All right, so this is obviously a collaboration tool as well. So uh, if we wanna make a comment specific to somebody, well, we can uh, put this, we'll put this right here. And I'll say at, we'll say for instance, I have people actually invited. Um, I'll just put John. I will say, uh, get this done ASAP. There we go. And then what we can do is take uh, both of these. I can right click and then choose connect with lines. All right, so I can actually drag this line over here to like a specific area or specific thing I want him to do. Like maybe he's the UI designer and I'll just uh, move this over here get these positioned out correctly. There we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, so next, what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and create an, uh, a new board called a mood board, all right? So maybe we'll put this right here, mood board. So when it comes to trying to consider uh, the different feel uh, in, in the visuals uh, and the, the emotions associated with uh, a, a new project like this. Uh, it's, it's nice to have a mood board. So we'll double click into there and I've gone and I've went, scoured the internet, primarily just Google images and I've saved some images that are frequent uh, when, when it comes to metal guitar players. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up a folder and then just simply drag them onto here and it works very well in terms of dragging the images. All right, so we have some of these images here and all we have to do is just take them, drag them in and look at that. So now we can organize these however we wish. We got some um, metal players here. We got good old Michelangelo Badio right there. We got Dimebag Daryl. All right, let's move this over here. We got a guy from Pan no Slayer. All right, awesome stuff. So now we can go back to our guitar challenge 
and there's other areas uh, over here. You can upload files. So if you have you know PDFs or whatever that's relevant to your project that your team may need or yourself, you can upload the images and just add them right here to this mood board. Um, there's also templates. All right, so templates will just give you an idea of how this can be used. All right, this this service. So you can have a like what was a what would a weekly weekly plan look like? We drag it over here. Just double click on it. And this gives you a nice layout that you could potentially use for your own weekly plans if you ever have such a need for that. Otherwise, take it and just throw it in the trash. Works seamlessly. I love this user interface and how easy it is to use. Um, next up, we, again, we already covered the fact that you can invite team members to this. Um, there's also a secret link that you can publish uh, you know, that will give only those people access to be able to view but not edit your your specific board here. And you can also export the current layout in PDF or PNG, which is very very helpful. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. I'm really impressed by the software. I've seen a lot of different organizational services like this, but this one in terms of its layout and its flexibility that allows you just to put anything anywhere you want is really great, especially being a designer when you're creative and you want to be able to structure things your own way. All right, so give them a try. It's completely free to give them a try. The link here is here, the first link in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Goodbye.